Hi, this is Michael Stone with HCL Software. I'm a lead technical advisor for Big Fix in the Western United States. Today I'll be discussing troubleshooting the Big Fix web UI. And, uh, you know, if you ever find yourself in a situation where something has gone wrong, hopefully this presentation will give you some tips that will either help you out or help you help our support department help you out. I should mention that this presentation is actually being done uh, based on version 10 of Big Fix and version 10 of the web UI. So for our agenda today, uh, we'll talk about a few different things. Uh, the, the first is checking out services and what should be running. Uh, we'll also talk about the locations of log files, should you find yourself uh, needing to look at those logs or provide them to our support folks. Uh, we'll also talk a little bit about database connectivity. This is a, a common thing that can happen uh, when you're first installing Big Fix, or if something goes wrong down the road. Uh, I'll show you an example of how we can uh, correct that. And we'll also talk about uh, a couple of UI settings, web UI settings, uh, things that you might want to change, specifically how it relates to logging levels. So I should also note that most of the information in this video is available in our documentation at help.hcltechsw.com. Uh, the QR code that's on the screen right now will take you directly to the documentation for the web UI. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, what services should be running uh, if we know uh, the web UI should be operating? Well, the first one, of course, is the web UI service itself. So we want to check that, make sure that that's up and operational. Uh, we also want to make sure that Node.js is running. So Node is actually the, the back end and, and what operates the, the web UI. So you should see a number of those pro, uh, processes also running. Uh, let's talk a little bit about log files. So there's a number of log files available that pertain to the web UI uh, and as well as multiple debug levels. And we'll talk a, bit, a little bit about debug levels here in, in a bit. Uh, some of these files uh, can give you some clues about uh, what's going on or some useful information about what's happening in your environment. And of course, if you need to reach out to our support team, uh, it's good to know where these logs live and how to retrieve them. So log files around installation. The, the web UI itself gets installed using a, a fixlet that gets launched uh, either at installation time of the server or uh, it can also be launched from the Big Fix console. The fixlet will actually run on the machine that's going to be hosting the web UI. So that could be your main Big Fix server, or it could be a separate system. In either case, the output from that fixlet is going to be in the actual client log. So yes, we use Big Fix to manage Big Fix. The fixlet itself uh, does execute some exe files and commands and when those execute they actually get sent out to a different log that resides in the client directory and that's the bez web ui install log so you will want to be aware of that log also uh, that will pertain to the actual installation and ultimately what we're looking for is uh, at the bottom uh, you, you can see here the result of the log installation success so uh, other things we can glean from this, we can also tell how long this actually took to install because we have uh, date and timestamps in this log. Now, every module in WebUI has a log file. So uh, the path for those is under Big Fix Enterprise, Bez WebUI, WebUI logs, you're going to find a file for every single module there. So some of these are fairly recognizable, you know, big fix query, uh, custom patch, auto patch, all have uh, log files associated with them. Uh, some of the other ones, framework or login, might be a little bit more interesting uh, depending on the, the situation that you have. Uh, one thing that I should probably point out while we're talking about these directories is that, uh, or these, uh, these log files, uh, if you recall, when you initially installed the web UI, you may have seen 
an error message about a bad gateway. Uh, and that's perfectly normal. It's part of the startup process. Uh, you may also see some messages about things initializing and checking permissions. So all of the web UI directories have strict access control permissions assigned to them. And this helps maintain the integrity of the big fix environment and also, well, the enterprise overall. We wouldn't want some admin who does not have access to big fix to necessarily uh, have access to these files. So as a result, if you want to look at these files or retrieve them, maybe you want to run notepad or uh, some other text tool of your choice, you really need to do this as an administrator on that system. Uh, you may be tempted to just change the permissions so that you can do it with whatever uh, account you're logging in as, but I would caution you against actually doing that just to maintain the uh, the security posture that uh, that we've put in place here. So some database issues that can come up, uh, a couple of things can happen, incorrect credentials or incorrect permissions. Now, incorrect, incorrect credentials, that's actually fairly easy to fix. The permissions, well, that you might need to talk to your database administrator about. Uh, in this case, I'm looking at the framework log and I can see here that the login has failed for the, the SA user. Now, there's a couple of ways you can actually fix this. One is the web UI application itself will allow a master operator to authenticate to the root server, even if there's no communication with the database. So this is, this is your parachute. This is actually pretty nice. Uh, the other thing you can do is there is actually a, a task that you can access from the traditional console and that will let you uh, change the database credentials. So we actually give you a couple of ways, um, a couple of ways to solve this problem. Uh, it's it's kind of matter of uh, a matter of you know if things were working and now they're not then you know it could be that maybe somebody changed password uh, or you know there's uh, also the possibility of seeing the error show up as uh, just can't connect to the database now that also could be a network issue uh, so you know ch check all the usual suspects make sure ports are open make sure firewalls are are uh, you know, not in place. Of course, make sure your database service is actually running. So let's uh, take a quick look at my system and we will uh, we'll see what this error looks like. So uh, as I mentioned, you know, when you uh, when you first start things up, you might see an error like this uh, and tell you that there's a, a bad gateway. Uh, for the most part, you can ignore this. This is uh, just the system starting up and things happening in the background. Once you finally get the login prompt, if you see something like this, could not connect to the big fix database, if the issue persists, contact your administrator. Okay, in this case, what I've actually done is I have munged up the credentials and the web UI cannot log into my database. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in as administrator. And as I mentioned, this is, uh, this is kind of a parachute for you. So that a regular administrator can log in using their, their console credentials. Now, this is the database configuration tester, and it's a tool that we've provided to you to uh, both test and save the configuration here. So there's a few advanced parameters if you need them. Uh, we're not gonna use those for this example. We're just gonna go ahead and put in the host name and the username. In this case, I installed my system using SA and go ahead and put in the password here. This time the correct password. And I'll go ahead and do the test of the configuration. And sure enough, we now work. I'll go ahead and save this configuration and note that it says that I do need to restart the web UI service for this to take effect. So of course, to do that, we would open up our task manager, go over to services, select Bez Web UI, and restart. Now, depending on the number of uh, systems, the number of actions, the number of fixlets, sites you have enabled, 
the actual restart process can take a little bit of time. And if I were to guess right now, this is probably uh, probably in a startup state. Yep, sure is. So I'm not gonna wait for that, uh, but the system will come back up and it'll go through the same process that it normally goes through uh, when it starts up. While we're here in the console, there are a couple other things I'd like to show you. Uh, if we wanted to actually enable advanced logging, uh, we would do that through a client setting. And of course, client settings are, are set by right-clicking on the endpoint itself, where the web UI is residing, and we can click add a setting. So what are those settings? Well, let's go back to our slide presentation here and we can take a look at those settings. So to turn on debugging, the, the setting here, web UI logging filter, uh, can be set on the server or that's running the, uh, the web UI. Now this is actually uh, interesting. This is uh, a regular expression. So there's lots of potential options here. Uh, we are going to, with this setting, capture everything that begins with BF. So BF and then the wildcard. Uh, other things you might be interested in, MSSQL encryption. Uh, if you need to encrypt your connect or have an encrypted connection to your SQL server, uh, you can set this to true. Uh, other things, depending on your, your environment, your security, uh, you may need to limit uh, certain ciphers. So you can do that also. Uh, the QR code on the screen will actually take you directly to the web UI uh, server settings page. And there's a lot of them there. Most of them you probably never need to worry about, uh, except for perhaps the logging. But all of the information about all of these settings is available to you there, along with all of the rest of the documentation uh, to uh, assist you in troubleshooting or operating big fix. If you enjoyed this video and would like to know when we come out with new videos, please subscribe to this channel and click the alert bell to be notified when new content is available. Also, please join us on Facebook and LinkedIn. Here's some of the links to our offerings, documentation, and also our incredible user forum. If you're new to Big Fix, please reach out to us at www.bigfix.com and let us help start the conversation on how Big Fix can help you be successful and secure across your enterprise endpoints. Thanks for watching and have a great day.